Hi, so in today's video, I'm just going to um, talk a little bit and show you how to do a ready, steady, go game where we're looking for a gesture. In this video, it's going to be a tap to indicate go. So this is the sort of activity that you might move on from if your child's been doing ready, steady, go and looking at you to indicate the go. So you might want to move them forward to a gesture. As I say, in this video, I'm going to be using a tap as a gesture but that doesn't have to be the gesture you use. It could be a hand up, high five, it could be a nod of their head, it could be a flap of their hand. Um, your child may have a gesture that they prefer using. We just suggest starting with a tap because it's quite an easy gesture. You can do it whether you're sitting down, standing up, you can tap furniture, tap your leg, tap the bottle, you know, tap the seat. So, um, you can kind of tap just about anywhere. So you might start with that, but you might find that your child starts to adopt their own gesture for go. And if they do, I would suggest that what you do is you carry on with their gesture for go. But what we're looking for is a physical action, a physical gesture to indicate that go, I'm ready. I'm ready to have those bubbles. So I'm going to do it with bubbles and Mickey is going to be my child today. So I'll just run through the activity and then once I've done it, I'll kind of go back and recap over a couple of the things that I've done. OK. Oh, Mickey, look. Bubbles. Wow, we're going to do bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. Are you ready? Ready. Steady. Oh, wow, look at that. One or two bubbles, Mickey. Shall we do it again? Ready. Steady. Go. Yeah, look at that. Bubbles. And again, more bubbles. Ready. Steady. Go. Yeah, good boy. And again, ready, steady, go, yay. Oh, only one bubble that time. Shall we do some more? Yeah, well done, boy. So as you can see there, the first two times I demonstrated what I wanted to happen at go. So I tapped and it was quite a big tap, made it quite a big gesture so that he can see what I'm doing. Then the next few times I paused, but I didn't pause expecting him to do that gesture by himself. I used the hand over hand to do that gesture with him. So initially we'd look at using that hand over hand support to get him to do that gesture that we want him to do. So he realises this is what we're wanting him to do for go. When you've done that for perhaps two or three days consistently, it might be worth a quick pause to see if he'll actually tap himself. And if he doesn't, then move back to the hand over hand support to do that tap. So that's basically how we do it. And we kind of work on that, building that up to him doing the gesture himself. As I said before, if your child has their own gesture for go, or if they start to develop their own gesture for go while you're doing this, then take their lead and do that physical gesture um, so that they can see that's what you need to do before you do the go and they get the bubbles. So I hope that's of some help to you. And as always, we'd love to see any videos that you have of your children doing these lovely activities.